Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the world's most intriguing stories. Today, we're taking a close look at a topic that impacts global trade and economy, the 10 African countries that boldly shook up the export game by banning the export of raw materials to Europe. These decisions have sent shockwaves across international markets, and we're here to unpack the why and how behind these critical choices. So, if you enjoy uncovering the hidden facets of global trade, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to stay updated with our thought-provoking content. Number 1. Zambia, the export ban on copper concentrate. In 2019, Zambia sent shockwaves through the global mining community when it implemented a sweeping ban on the export of copper concentrate. This bold and contentious move was underpinned by the government's desire to catalyze the development of a domestic copper processing industry. With Zambia being one of the world's top copper producers, the ban aimed to address concerns about the significant revenue losses associated with exporting raw materials and the nation's over-reliance on copper mining. This decision was met with a mix of support and skepticism. On one hand, it was seen as a strategy to add value to their copper resources and create more local jobs. On the other hand, it caused an abrupt decline in revenue from copper exports, raising concerns about the sustainability of the mining sector. The ban on copper concentrate exports remains a subject of intense debate, with the government balancing economic diversification with the immediate fiscal impact. Number 2. Mali, the export restrictions on unprocessed gold. Mali took a significant step in reshaping its gold mining industry by imposing restrictions on the export of unprocessed gold in 2018. This measure was driven by the government's ambition to boost local gold processing, adding value within its borders rather than exporting raw gold. The decision was a response to the vast amounts of gold leaving the country without undergoing any value addition. Mali aimed to retain a more substantial portion of the revenue generated by the gold mining sector and foster economic development. The move was not without challenges, as it disrupted existing gold trade practices and raised questions about the country's capacity to process its gold locally. Mali's ambition with this decision is to strike a balance between preserving its mineral wealth and generating economic growth ultimately aiming to emerge as a more self-sufficient and less resource-dependent nation. Number 3. Tanzania, the export ban on mineral concentrate. In 2017, Tanzania took a bold and controversial step by banning the export of mineral concentrates, sparking intense discussions in the mining world. The decision was rooted in Tanzania's aspiration to curb revenue losses and promote local processing of its valuable minerals. This move aimed to ensure that a larger share of the value generated from mineral extraction remained within the country. The ban, however, led to legal disputes with international mining companies who argued against the abrupt change in export regulations. This ban, in its essence, underscores Tanzania's determination to retain a more significant portion of the revenue generated by its mineral wealth, thereby contributing to economic development and transformation. Number four. Ghana, the export ban on unprocessed gold. Ghana, one of Africa's foremost gold producers, created ripples in the mining industry in 2017 when it banned the export of unprocessed gold. The government's motivation behind this decision was clear. They aimed to stimulate local gold processing and maximize the returns from their gold resources. While Ghana's decision was celebrated as a strategic move to promote economic growth and self-reliance, it also raised questions about the capacity of local refineries to handle the influx of raw gold. The ban, therefore, reflects a delicate balance between Ghana's ambition to increase the value added to its gold and the practical challenges of achieving this goal. Number 5. Ivory Coast – The Export Ban on Cocoa Beans Ivory Coast, often recognized as the world's largest cocoa producer, sent shockwaves through the global chocolate industry in 2016 when it instituted a ban on the export of cocoa beans. This decision was driven by the nation's vision to refine and process cocoa domestically, thereby increasing its share in the global cocoa industry's revenues. While this move was seen as a strategic step toward adding value to its cocoa resources, it had a substantial impact on the global cocoa supply chain. The ban meant that raw cocoa beans could no longer be shipped out of the country, affecting both international chocolatiers and local cocoa farmers. 
Ivory Coast's decision reflects a commitment to change the dynamics of the cocoa industry by keeping a larger portion of the cocoa processing and trading within the nation, ultimately aiming for a more significant piece of the cocoa revenue pie. Number 6. Niger, the ban on uranium ore exports. In 2014, Niger, a significant producer of uranium, implemented a ban on the export of uranium ore. This decision was grounded in the government's ambition to add value to its uranium resources and create a more sustainable domestic nuclear industry. The ban aimed to curb the loss of potential revenue from exporting raw uranium ore, which is used in nuclear power generation. While this decision was viewed as a move towards self-sufficiency and economic development, it also posed challenges as it required significant investments in nuclear infrastructure to refine uranium domestically. Niger's choice to restrict uranium ore exports reflects a complex interplay between economic development, energy security, and the need to harness the full potential of its uranium resources. Number 7. DR Congo, the export ban on unrefined copper and cobalt concentrates. In 2013, the Democratic Republic of Congo DR Congo took a significant step by banning the export of unrefined copper and cobalt concentrates. This decision was rooted in the country's desire to add value to its rich mineral resources and prevent revenue losses associated with raw material exports. The ban had far-reaching implications, both economically and in terms of international trade agreements. It was intended to drive local processing and foster economic growth, but it also led to legal disputes with mining companies and complex discussions about refining capacity. DR Congo's decision reflects its aspiration to retain a more substantial share of the revenue generated by its copper and cobalt production, contributing to economic transformation and development. Number 8. Zimbabwe, the ban on raw chrome exports. In 2011, Zimbabwe made waves in the mining sector by banning the export of raw chrome. The government's motivation behind this decision was clear. They aimed to stimulate local processing, maximize the returns from their chrome resources, and reduce the loss of potential revenue. The move was celebrated as a strategic step to promote economic growth and self-reliance, but it also raised questions about the capacity of local facilities to handle the processing of chrome. Zimbabwe's decision was a delicate balance between its ambition to increase value-added activities and the practical challenges associated with achieving this goal. Number 9. Gabon the ban on raw log exports. Gabon, a nation rich in forest resources, enacted a ban on the export of raw logs in 2010. The government aimed to add value to its timber resources and reduce the loss of potential revenue from exporting raw logs. This move was seen as a strategic step to promote economic growth and self-sufficiency. However, it also raised concerns about the capacity of local processing facilities and the need for investments in the timber industry. Gabon's decision reflects a commitment to retain more of the revenue generated by its timber resources, contributing to economic transformation and the preservation of its forests. Number 10. Mozambique, the export ban on unprocessed timber logs. In 2007, Mozambique implemented a ban on the export of unprocessed timber logs. This decision was grounded in the nation's aspiration to promote local timber processing and add value to its rich timber resources. The Bain aimed to reduce the loss of potential revenue from exporting raw timber and to create a more sustainable timber industry. While the decision was celebrated as a move towards self-reliance and economic growth, it also posed challenges related to the capacity of local processing facilities and the need for investment in the timber industry. Mozambique's choice reflects its commitment to retaining a larger share of the revenue generated by its timber resources, contributing to economic development and the preservation of its forests. And that wraps up our journey through the 10 African countries that banned the export of raw materials to Europe. This has shed light on the complex decisions these nations have made to enhance economic growth, self-reliance, and value addition to their resources. If you found this information engaging and thought-provoking, Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights. Thank you for watching and being a part of our community, and as always, stay curious and keep exploring the world's most compelling stories.